Welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for coming on back. We're doing something a little bit different today because I realized I never really show my beauty space. So I figured it'd be cool to kind of give you guys a tour of where I create, where I get inspired, where I film. So let's just do that. So this is a wide view of my beauty area and now we're gonna bring it on in get a little close get a little intimate give you a better look so this vanity was a diy project and i will link my blog post so if you want to make an area like this you can i got the furniture from ikea it's a tabletop up here and i have two drawers on the top area that open up and then there's a bottom cabinet with one two three four with five drawers the mirror is also from ikea and then i got these lights from amazon and they're actually stick on lights so i used to have lights that were attached to the wall but i like these ones better because they're dimmable so there's a little button underneath i can press you can see it's getting brighter and I can dim them all the way down to the lowest setting, which is what I have them on now. So I use two sets of those lights and stuck them on the mirror. And then of course I've got kind of all of my go-to items that I grab most often on the top. And I also have a little tabletop mirror that I like to use. So if I need a closer look, I can of course bring this closer to me. And this one also has lights on it. I don't use these lights that often because this thing is, I don't know, it doesn't get that bright and like I have to tap it five or six times, which is, I mean, it's not the most annoying thing in the world, but that's why I don't use it that much. So let me get this out of the way and show you kind of what I have going on here. So this is the foundation corner slash primer corner slash setting spray corner so most of my face products are in this area i also have some of my setting powders in here as well just a few of them but mostly foundation primer and setting spray here and my little items that i use often so eyeliners um brow pencils brow gels all that little stuff that can kind of get lost in the sauce I like to keep in here so that it's easy to grab and I know where it is all the time and of course I've got my beauty blender and my pocket blender pocket po pocket powder blender that is hard to say I think they need to come up with a new name but I've got these handy as well brush cups of course I mean what vanity doesn't have brush cups tell me you can't tell me one. So we got the brush cups here. And then these are all of my glosses, liquid lipsticks, um, you know, all that kind of lip stuff. I try to keep them organized. It's a lot easier since I'm not wearing lipstick out as much and really not that much around the house. So it's easier to keep them where they are. And this drawer is just lip liners, some more glosses, and then I got my Pat McGrath goodies right there and I like to keep my eyelash glue out just so that it's handy um whenever I need it as long as as, as well as my tweezers and in this drawer here we've got kind of like a mashup of things that I don't use that often so I've got all of my <laughs> this is really sad it's, it's happy but sad um so when Ulta has like 50 or 60% off brow pencils, I get like four or five sometimes. I think I've got like three one time, two another time, four one time, whatever. Um, so these are all of my extra Anastasia pencils so that I don't have to buy them throughout the year. So I keep them in here where they are safe. And I've got some extra of the Benefit pencil that I use as well. So those are all in here. And then I've just got like highlighters and contour palettes that I don't use as often, but I like to know where they are. And in this drawer, we've got a lot of brushes that I still like, but I just don't use as much. So they're in here so that they are easy to grab if I do need them. And I've also got extra setting powders that were on sale at Ulta and I couldn't pass it up. So I got those cause I know I'm gonna run out of setting powder at some point. So they're here for me whenever I need them. 
So let's take a look at my storage tower. I actually probably am gonna need more storage at some point, but well, that's a story for another day. So this is where I keep all of my concealers, my cream blushes, my powder blushes, and my powder highlighters. So everything is here nice and neat in this drawer. I definitely don't need to buy any more concealers, but I probably will. In this drawer, we've got the Overflow lip products. So my crystal lip kit that I'm not probably gonna use that much, but I'm glad I have it. I've got an Anastasia lip palette that obviously is not gonna fit anywhere else. Um, the e.l.f. putty primers and blushes are also in here because they just don't really have another home right now. And then a variety of like, lipsticks that are not going to fit in those clear acrylic cases and this would just take up too much tabletop space so it's all just kind of in here then we've got the eye palette drawer and i probably don't need any more eye palettes for a very long time but you know it's hard to resist. It is hard to resist. So I've got my Juvia's Place here, a couple Pat McGrath palettes, a couple more Pat McGrath, um, the Alyssa Edwards. I love this palette. A Tarte one that my husband got me for my birthday. Uh, this has to be like maybe five, six years ago. Um, the Lorac Mega palettes. So I have all four here and I'm very happy I was able to get all four of them. So that collection is complete. I really wish they'd come out with more, but you know, I don't need to buy more, but I would if they did. And I've got some more like palettes, little palettes back here. And um, like, you know, like the loose pigments that it's hard to find a home for them. So all that kind of stuff is back there in smaller palettes and eye pencils. And then I've got my last drawer, which is also palette overflow. So this palette is too big to really go anywhere else. So it's down here with some other palettes that I don't really use all that often. And of course, all of my lashes. And I love this little lash storybook. So it's extra storage and it's really cute. And the rest are, you know, as you can see, just in this drawer. And then the bottom drawer is just hair tools, which is not all that interesting. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my beauty space and seeing kind of a little bit more about my collection. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every Tuesday and Friday and hit that notification bell so you can be first to know when there is a new video and I will see y'all next time. Bye.